I am so excited about this week's styling video because this is all about decluttering your style life. Because the thing is, your style life is so important. It's a reflection of who you are and how you're feeling from the inside. And we want to make sure that it is decluttered so that we feel confident, we feel comfortable, and we start showing up as our true self. Because the thing is, when we're holding on to clothes that we don't wear, shoes that we don't wear, accessories, all those pieces that are just broken, mismatched, or they're uncomfortable then we start to feel a little bit cluttered and unorganized and we end up hating our wardrobe and we end up hating basically how we feel and look about ourselves when we enter our wardrobe, which then leads to overwhelm, feeling unlost, uncertain, and that is not the vibe. The vibe here is to make sure that every single week you feel amazed, you feel excited, you feel put together. And that's what this is all about. We are going to help you declutter and give you a checklist so that you can start showing up and start buying things and having things in your wardrobe that truly matter to you. So let's get started. Grab your cup of tea and print off your styling week guide because you have your checklist there and let's, let's get to it. Clothes that you don't wear. It's time we get rid of them. We're not wearing them. Time to get rid of them. It's time we get rid of shoes that we don't wear. Again, if you're not wearing them, why are you keeping them? And don't forget the shoes that hurt. We don't want shoes that hurt us. We must get rid of them. Oh, do you see all the dust? Expired beauty products. We don't need them anymore. Jewelry that you don't like anymore. It's time that we get rid of these. Let's donate them to someone who can treasure them. Oh my God, this is so bad. But excess coat hangers. We don't need this many coat hangers. If they're just hanging there, you're wasting wardrobe space. Worn out socks and worn out underwear. Non-negotiable. Get rid of them, girlfriend. Get rid of them. Duplicate hairbrushes. Why? Why do I have... I actually have three of them. I'm doing the declutter as well, girl. <laughs> okay, I don't have an example of this, but clothes that are not mended yet. So if you're sewing or fixing or you're like, I'll get to that. I'll take it to the tailors. Get rid of those pieces because you're not mending them. So when are they going to get mended? So I actually did this the other day, um, unnecessary clothing repeats. So if you have like 10 blazers, 10 jeans, 20 different tops that are the same and they're repeats of the same, you don't need that many. You only need one or two or three really, really good pieces of the same. I was trying to find an example of this, but again, I don't have it. So any t-shirts that are yellow, that's your t-shirts telling you that it's not right it's oh it's moving on it's time to get rid of it yellow t-shirts especially if it's white it might show up no it's not going to show up if you've got some missing pairs of earrings and jewelry <laughs> get rid of them things you keep just in case just in case i might wear this bag one day i might wear this dress one day just in case just in case I have to go back to the office, I might put my heels back on. So whenever you say just in case, really answer that question and get rid of it. Things from a previous job. Now this is tricky. What I really want you to ask yourself here is this piece, am I wearing it or do I only have it because it was from a previous job? Seriously, if you're not working in that environment, you don't need to wear pencil skirts and you're thinking just in case, <laughs> get rid of it. You need pieces that you love and it loves you back today. This is all about your sunglasses and regular glasses. So any glasses that have the UV coating peeling back, oh, get rid of it. It's not working for you anyway. And any glasses that you're not wearing, any glasses that are broken, just anything that you're just sitting there and you're saying just in case. Any orphan socks. Where's its partner? What's it doing? It does get sucked up in the washing machine and it don't, I don't know where it goes from there, but orphan socks. By the way, look how cute these are. I got these for Jason. <laughs> They're like little bubble bills. <laughs> so this one is really, really, really important. I always, always talk about this. Clothes that do not fit. Why are you waiting for them to fit you? You may as well donate them for someone who's gonna love them and fit them and buy something that fits you today because you only really have today uncomfortable bras even if the bra is beautiful and you spend quite a fair bit of money on it if it's uncomfortable 
You don't want your ladies to be sitting there all day long feeling that way. They're precious. So get rid of the uncomfortable bra. And my last and biggest final checklist tip for you, any clothes that you have not worn in a year, time to get rid of them. Unless you're just waiting for something. And is that just something coming around the corner anytime soon? It's really important to think about what is happening in your life and decluttering and opening up space to things that suit you and serve you. So make sure that you print out the styling hot tips guide. I've got the checklist there for you and give yourself this opportunity to really look at your style life by decluttering it and organizing it and re building it into something amazing that you will show up and wear every single day because when you're happy and you've got those pieces that you're wearing and you're not subconsciously in the back of your mind thinking about your odd socks your odd earrings clothes that don't fit you uncomfortable bras and you're being effortless and you're being caring and you're being loved and you're just giving that to yourself your whole life changes. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Send me an update. Let me know how you go. And also let me know if you add any more to your checklist.